Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to another tutorial in the Python data science series. In this tutorial we are going to be talking about descriptive statistics. Descriptive statistics describe a variable's values and their spread. For example, imagine you work for a company that monitors patients health in real time and you need to build a script that detects dangerous anomalies. You could generate summary statistics in microbatch and then calculate the mean, max and standard deviation of incoming health data that is generated from the monitoring device. With these descriptive statistics, you could generate automatic alerts when unusually high or low data points are generated by the patient's monitoring device. These would indicate potentially dangerous health status of a monitored patient. Descriptive statistics provide a quantitative summary of a variable and the data points that comprise it. You can use them to get an understanding of a variable and the attributes that it represents. There are two categories of descriptive statistics. One is descriptive statistics that describe the values of an observation in a variable. And the second is the descriptive statistics that describe a variable's spread. So to get more specific, if you wanted to generate descriptive statistics that describe the observations in a variable, then what you would do is you would go ahead and calculate out the sum, median, mean and max of those observations in the variable. But again, the second way to generate descriptive statistics is to describe the variable's spread. And if you wanted to do that, what you would do is calculate out standard deviation, variance, counts or quartiles. If this does not make a lot of sense to you right now, just hold on because I am going to show you an example in the coding part and then you will really get what I am talking about. But first, let's look at some of the uses for descriptive statistics. You can use descriptive statistics to easily detect outliers. You can use it for planning data preparation requirements for machine learning and you could use it for selecting features for use in machine learning as well. So okay, now let me show you how to generate summary statistics using pandas and Scipy. We are going to start off of course by bringing in our libraries. So we need to import numpy and pandas, the series and data frame and then also Scipy. You also want to import states. I have got those already loaded in my Jupyter lab. So first thing is first, we need to import data and we are going to use the empty cars data set or whatever data set you are using. So let's just identify where that data set is stored on my computer. Okay, so this is where Python is going to load the data in from. And in order to get it to load the data, let's just use the read csv function which is going to be pd.read csv and then we pass in the address okay and let's call this whole thing cars this is going to be our cars data set and then let's just name out the columns in the cars data set so to do that we will say cars.columns and then we will create a list with column names First column is car names, then MPG, CYL cylinder. Next column is going to be DISP displacement, HP horsepower, and then after that, we will have our thread. Okay, make sure we have got this in text correct here. And then weights, and then QSEC, VS, M, gear, and carb. All right, cool. So now we have named all of the columns in the cars data set. So let's just print out the first five records. To do that, we will say cars.head and run it. And we get a little preview of the data we have got inside our data set. Now I am going to show you how to use the sum method. The sum method adds up the total of the numbers in a column or in rows of a data frame. By default, some will count up values and provide a total for each column. 
but if you pass in excess equal to one argument then it will add up the values along the data frame rows instead so let's practice with this one we will just kind of move the screen up a bit and then i will say cars.sum and run that now as you can see it's gone along and summed up the values in the columns of the cars data frame now if you wanted to sum off the values along the rows instead that is easy enough to do you would just take the same command and then you would just pass in a parameter that says access is equal to one and then what it is doing is it is going in and basically adding up all of the values in each of the rows and outputting the summation of those values row wise the median method finds and returns a median value or the middle value from the columns or rows of the data frame so let's calculate a median value here by saying cars dot median and then what python has done is it has gone into each of the variables in the cars data set and it has found the median value for each of those variables and returned that as an output here to calculate the mean it's very simple you just say cars dot mean and what it is going to do is it is going to calculate the average value for each variable in the cars data frame and if we wanted to generate some statistics about the maximum value in each variable we would just say cars dot max and now we see the greatest value in each of the variables now if you wanted to be able to identify the row where the maximum value came from you would just call the idx max method to see the index value of the row that contains the maximum value so let's try that out here we will just look at the mpg variable so let's isolate that first say cars dot mpg set it equal to mpg and then let's just call the idx max method of of the mpg variable so mpg dot idx max and then what we are seeing here is that 19 is the index number of the row where the maximum value was found in the mpg variable now let's look at summary statistics that describe variable distribution the most fundamental summary statistics that describes distribution is standard deviation and in order to generate that in python you can just use cars.std and what this has done is uh, gone along each of the variables and calculated the standard deviation of the values in that variable to calculate the variance you would just say cars.var call the var method of of it and now you are getting the variance of for each of the variables there is also the value counts method and this method counts up the unique values in an array or a series object it shows you how many unique values are present in a data set so let's look at the gears variable first we will isolate that we will just create a variable called gear and then we will set that equal to cars dot gear and then call the value counts method of the gear variable so gear dot value counts run this and we get an output here okay so what you are seeing here is that the gear variable has three unique values those are three four and five on the right side you can see the unique counts for each of those variables if you wanted to take a broader perspective what this is really saying is that the cars data set has 15 cars with three gears 12 cars with four gears and five cars with five gears and i want to show you really fast the easy peasy way to get an entire statistical description of a data set this is with the describe method so all you would need to do is say cars dot describe and run that 
And with this, you are basically getting all of the descriptive statistics that can be generated from each of the variables in the entire data set all at one time. So it is super efficient and helpful to have this on hand. Now we discussed and you learned how to summarize numerical values. In the coming tutorial, we are going to be discussing summarizing categorical ones. So stay tuned and have a nice day. Hope so you have liked this video. Please subscribe to the channel, check the bell icon, give a thumb up and don't leave without mentioning in the comment section how you rate this video. Thanks for watching.